Let's just talk briefly about your writing habits and the writing habits of what you think successful writers um, do. Um, do you have any tips on, on getting through a day and remaining productive and optimistic and effective um, and actually doing the job of being a writer? Yeah, I mean, over the years, I've, you know, I've wrestled with a lot of bad habits and I found the, the, the healthiest way to approach them is um, I don't label them as bad anymore. They're just my habits. Um, so I do procrastinate. I do take too long to, to get stuff started. I take too long to get stuff finished. But when I'm writing well, there's a couple of patterns I've noticed is that um, I tend to write out of sequence. I'll write whatever scene appeals to me to write at that moment. So I don't sort of get to a point and get stuck and say like, ah, I don't know how to do this scene. Well, screw it. I'll write another scene that I do know how to write. Um, we don't shoot movies in order. You don't have to write them in order. Um, you should have enough sense of what your story is that you don't have to write it in chronological order. You can write the scene that appeals to you at the time. Um, usually when I start a new project, I have a lot of enthusiasm for it. And one thing I find helpful, helpful is to go off someplace, barricade myself without internet and just hand write as much as I possibly can of the movie. Um, that keeps me from editing. It keeps me from getting distracted or trying to sort of rewrite and sort of rethink everything I've done up to that point. Um, you have to hit a sort of critical mass of pages and then you, you know, you'll finish. Um, the last thing is I always try to write those last 10 pages pretty early on in the process. Um, I find a lot of scripts you read, the ending sort of gets loose and sort of just has a lot of slack because a person was just exhausted and they were just sort of like going through on adrenaline and getting it finished. And it's not nearly as tight as those first 30 pages of a script. So while my mind is still really focused, I try to make sure that those last 10 pages get us out of the story in a really smart fashion. Um, so, you know, probably three of my uh, okay. suggestions. So I, I was reading on your blog about beat sheets and, and how important those, those are to your writing process. I guess if you are going to you know, steamroll ahead and write the end first, you're going to have to have some very good idea of what the structure is of your story. Yeah. I, you know, I, I'm not a person who diligently outlines. I don't always do index cards. But I'll at least have enough of a sense of these are the moments of this, the screenplay. This is where we're starting. This is where we're ending that I can write that ending pretty early on in the process. Um, I'm writing this movie right now for Tim called Monster Apocalypse, and you know, I'm pretty early into the process, but I do know where it's going, and in a week or two, I, I will need to jump ahead and write those last 10 pages just so I get a sense of where I need to get to. Um, and I find that skipping around, a lot of times, you get really good ideas for things you can set up earlier. Like, you sort of, you write the payoff, and then you know, like, oh, I can write the setup for that back then. Um, I can, I can, create something tighter and denser um, by not sort of just going straight through. Right.